So what's up guys, um, what I'm going to do in these next few videos is I'm basically going to go over the ICIC papers of the past of say the past maybe 8 to 10 years and first I am going to solve all the programs in a particular paper and I think this is important because a lot of people they, they learn the language and they know the theory but they mess up their exams because they don't know how to solve problems they they never really experiment they don't sit play with code see what they can do which is why i think it's important for people to solve problems which is why i am going to go through these papers and solve a few problems for you guys so you can kind of absorb the process that I use that you can use to solve problems so I'll start off this video with um, the 2013 I think specimen paper I found this on this site called restpaper.com you definitely should check it out it's a pretty cool site it has all papers for a lot of subjects so I'm gonna start with section B um, question 4 so let's see 2013 s for specimen s4 oh i forgot i'm sorry about that i cannot start a name a class name with a number so class 2013 s4 oh i'm sorry icse 2013 s4 and i'm just gonna go back here I, I urge you guys to open this paper up in front of you and look at the questions so that you know it's easier for you guys so it says define a class taxi meter having the following description so I mean this class should ideally be called taxi meter so I'm, I'm just gonna change it to that taxi meter um, int taxi number let me see if I can have this side by side yeah this is better int taxi number to store taxi number that's just the function of each variable string name int kilometers here we have a constructor taxi meter to initialize taxi number to 0 so we set that to 0 name to an empty string and b to 0 B, I think they meant kilometers, not B, because that way that question is invalid. Input to store taxi number, name, and kilometers. So we're gonna have to write the input function. So now every time you write an input function, it'll always be void, because what you're doing is you have these global variables here taxi number, name, kilometer and you are trying to fill values into those so to do this input i am going to input scanner java.util.star which has scanner so i'll create my scanner object scanner sc is equal to new scanner bracket system not in you guys should be knowing how to use scanner if you don't you should um go watch my video on it so what i'm going to do is print over here um enter taxi number and just store this stuff enter taxi name let me just type this out this is simple stuff you should know how to take input it's not very difficult if you don't then go look up my videos it's not i have videos for this enter kilometers so I'm, I'm just what I'm doing over here in this input function is really simple I'm just getting um, the values of the taxi number and the name so now I'm going to write the calculate function which doesn't have a return type shockingly but so since it doesn't have a return type I'm guessing it's void um, so if km less than or equal to 1 okay I'm guessing it's not void 
because I just reread the question and it's asking you to return a rate per km. So, I'm sorry about that. I'm guessing this is going to be an integer. If km less than or equal to one, return. So what's given here is rate per kilometer. So if you multiply multiply that by the number of kilometers traveled, it should give you how many kilometers you've traveled. So what I'll do is, um, yeah, return 25 times kilometers. Else if, which is the second condition here, if kilometers is less than equal to six. Now we don't need to do this bounce checking for one because we've already checked one up there. So if we go into this else if, else if it means it is definitely greater than one. So return 10 into number of kilometers else if km less than or equal to 12 return 15 into kilometers else if km less than or equal to 18 return 20 into kilometers else return 25 into kilometers now what is this code doing basically if if you've traveled for less than one kilometer less than or equal to one it's returning 25 times the number of kilometers that you've traveled. If you've traveled between one and six, it's going to run, return 10 times that number and so on up till anything greater than 18. And now what I'm going to do is void display, which should print out the details in the following format, okay? So taxi number and here this is the format taxi number So what I'm gonna do here is something called tabs taxi number tab name tab kilometers traveled tab bill amount and don't be frightened by this tab just inserts a large space between the I mean between each column plus name plus tab plus km plus tab plus calculate now see what I'm doing here what I'm doing here is basically I'm calling this calculate function on this object and whatever it returns i am putting that value in here so bill amount corresponds to the value that calculate returns and in the end they say void main create an object in the main method and call the above methods on it so to create an object what we need to do is taxi meter t i'm just calling it t it can be anything is equal to new taxi meter t dot input t dot display now you might be wondering why i didn't need to call this this calculate function that's for the simple reason that it's already being called in display so there's no need to call that so here you have your entire program it should compile yep it compiles now i am going to run it with my own sample data so i create new taxi meter i'll call the main function enter taxi number i'll just say 9211 enter taxi name i'll say cab service oops okay so I am making some sort of mistake. Let's see. Okay, I'm making a mistake in the input. So ideally, let's see. And I'm sorry if I'm making a mistake, but it just proves that even I'm human, we all make mistakes. Okay, so ideally I think this should be sc.next. I do not know why I typed next line. But let me try that. 9211 yeah there it works so taxi name I'll call it sky car because sky car sounds cool 
Now let's let's do this calculation here. Let's say I travel in my taxi for before I enter the kilometers. Let's say I travel for three kilometers. So three kilometers here corresponds to three times ten rate per kilometer. So if it's ten rupees for one kilometer, it's three times ten thirty rupees for three kilometers. So let's enter three and even though the format is not just as I wanted you can see that taxi number 9211 name sky car kilometers travel 3 bill amount 30 this should ideally be here but it's I think that you can let that go I can add one more space if you guys want let me just add another tab so I think in this case it looks fine I'll try it with some other data. 9211 cool Z. Let's say I say 20 kilometers. So for 20 kilometers it should be 20 times 25 which is 500. So here you have 500 20 cool Z 9211 and since it still doesn't look fine I can add another tab. In this case I think it should work. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so don't mind. Full bar. So here you have it. 750 bill amount. 30. Full bar 9211. And I think that's it. Let me just go over and explain this again these are my data members these are global variables that can be accessed throughout every function this is the constructor the constructor's job is basically to assign these variables some random values so that if a user doesn't enter anything they have something to start off with in this case zero an empty string and zero the input function is pretty straightforward it takes a string it takes two numbers the calculate function as I've already explained since in the question you're given rate per kilometer you have to while returning it you have to return it times the number of kilometers that it's running for the display function is pretty simple you just print the values of all the instance variables the global variables and also you call the calculate function to give you the bill amount so it goes there gets printed and let's see this main function basically creates the object calls this constructor here new taxi meter calls the input function so you can input your own um, data and the display function which calls calculate so there you have it it's pretty simple this is a very standard program that every question people generally has one on constructors Sometimes they might change it and instead of this, instead of taxi meter with an empty bracket with an empty parentheses, it they can give you a parameterized constructor. Hopefully I'll find one of those in a, another paper and I will work through that for you too. So that's question four of the 2013 specimen paper. I hope you guys understood this. This is 15 marks of your ICSE exam. So I mean, pay close attention to these constructor questions they're pretty easy um so that's it for this video see you